All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can etch, get a list of properties that have sold for cash, and you may not know who the, uh, the owners are to skip trace them and find them. Now, I'm going to show you how we can get around that here on Prop Screen. I'm going to go to this. I'm in the uh, My Properties section, and I'm going to click on Import List. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get a file from my computer here. And this is for a market we're looking at down in Florida. And I'm going to create a new list. Now, this is down in Lake County. And it's actually my second test. So we're going to do it. I'm going to call it test two for now. And I'm going to click save. And it's going to actually take my spreadsheet. And what it's going to do is it's going to look at the headers in the sheet and try to determine what everything is. Now, the beautiful thing about the MLS is it labels everything really well. So you can export your cash buyers, your realtors can get this for you. Now you can also do this in PropStream, but the reason I'm using this as an example is because I've been asked, hey, can I import this into PropStream? So I'm just picking something simple here, because the answer is yes. So I hit close, and now it's in. And you'll notice I can go in here, and there's this Lake County test too. Now in the actual spreadsheet, all it gives me is the property address, what it was sold for, cash, and the agent information. The beautiful thing about PropStream is it's going to take that information, it's going to go to the public record, and it's going to actually go ahead and find me the owners. So now right off the bat, I now know who the owners are of all of these properties. And I can tell whether they are local or absentee because I've got a property address, and this is Lady Lake, Florida, and you'll notice we have quite a few here that are absentee. They don't buy, they don't live there, I mean, some of them are out of state. And then on top of the property information, it's going to give me the last sale amount. So I can sort by, there you go, boom. Now, as, and you can search by or sort by any of these columns, but what's particularly cool here is you can go down the list and figure out, hey, here's all my sold properties as I go up. And you can take, and, and the point here is any list you can export from a system you can import into the system. The beautiful thing is if I want to skip trace all these sellers, I can easily just click on this, say new campaign and go skip trace them. But what if I only wanted to do part of the campaign? Well, you can actually sort your list before you upload it and then delete what you don't want. So for example, let's say I only want to look at properties uh, up to a sale price of 300,000. Well, in my spreadsheet, before I upload it, I just sort by sale price. And let's see where 300 is here. It's a good ways in, apparently. Yeah, there it is. So I would just delete everything from here down. Now, you could do it in here, but it's going to take a little bit more time. It would be much quicker to do on the spreadsheet. Just delete it, and then everything you import is 299 and under. Boom, you skip trace what you want and off you go, or if you want to do a marketing campaign, postcards, whatever, you can do that sort of thing. So a lot of power here, the point being you can import lists in the Freedom Soft of all sorts, and then it's gonna go and fill in a lot of blanks for you so you can immediately go to the next step. So, hope this is helpful, thanks.